All right, so today we're going to be making a heron, a heron sandwich, uh, hero, submarine, sub, hoagie, um, whatever you'd like to call it. But we're going to be using whole heron and we're going to make a beautiful uh, hero or a big old heron sandwich. We're going to wrap it up and take it fishing with us. So uh, let's get to it. All right, uh, we're going to talk about first the ingredients. Um, of course, for your your hoagie or sandwich, you're gonna need your bread. Um, everybody likes, I like uh, lettuce and tomato on mine. And keep in mind, you can use anything you want, onions, pickles, whatever. I'm gonna slap some mayonnaise. You can use oil and vinegar. I like hot sauce. And uh, of course, salt and pepper to your taste. I'm using to make this, uh, talk about uh, how I prepared the heron earlier. I did a video on that. I'm using oven pan fried uh, whole heron. Um, you can use heron fillets or just take the meat off the bone. So you want to be careful. You might want to be careful with those bones if you're not familiar uh, with the heron. So you can watch that video prior hand uh, that I made on how I prepared the heron for the sandwich. So now I'm going to cut the bread for the heron. And uh, I like to cut the bread just slightly wee bit bigger than the heron for my sandwich, my hero. Um, and uh, check out the video. I caught these heron fresh. Um, I just did a video recently, so you can check out how we caught these heron. These are fresh caught. Um, when I prepared the heron, uh, oven pan fried them before I made this sandwich, Hero, well, with the heron, I uh, put them in the fridge overnight and uh, let the meat settle again. You can fillet off that meat after you fry them, but I'm using them whole, whole heron. All right, now I'm gonna put this whole thing together. Um, put my heron sandwich together. I cut my bread, it's uh, you can see it's a little split, split there, but it's no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna use some mayonnaise, and I'm using this as a uh, firmer, crispier bread. And uh, the reason for that is I'm gonna wrap this up and take it to go, uh, let it sit. If you wanna eat it right away, I would recommend using uh, softer bread. Uh, the firmer bread, you wrap it up, everything kind of sits, marries well. If you're gonna not eat it right away, which is, I'm not planning to eat this right away. I'm gonna wrap it up and eat it, uh, uh, this heron sandwich a bit longer. And uh, I'm just gonna throw my lettuce on. And you can use, again, when you make your heron uh, sandwich, uh, your hoagie, you can use anything you want. Um, I like things kind of, you know, regular. So I'm just gonna be using some lettuce and uh, like a lot of lettuce and tomato, but you can use anything from jalapenos, uh, hot sweet peppers, onions, pickles, uh, anything you really, really like on a sandwich. And again, I'm just gonna use whole heron. And uh, if you're kind of squirmish about the bones, um, I would recommend uh, probably, you know, uh, we'll put some salt pepper on here. If the, you're squirmish about the uh, heron bones, these are oven pan fried, so they're cooked really well. I can eat that heron just like a french fry. I'm gonna throw in some uh, hot sauce. But if you're worried about heron bones, uh, just get a fork and flake that meat right off the bone uh, if you're not you know, comfortable eating them. Um, I don't recommend you do it if you're not comfortable eating heron, so uh, make sure you do that. And uh, now, we're just gonna finish this up. I'm gonna kind of like just shape the sandwich. And uh, the magic actually comes with this sandwich. Is you can eat it just like this, uh, all ready to go. And if you do, I would recommend using a softer bread. I'm just using a crispier, firmer French baguette here um, because uh, I'm gonna show you like uh, in the next step what we're gonna do. Uh, but we're just about done. If you use a different bread, you're all ready to go and we can eat this now all right so here's the magic uh old-fashioned aluminum foil i'm just going to take a sheet of foil a uh, bit bigger than uh, our heron hoagie heron sandwich i'm just going to drop it in there and uh well this is how you would wrap it if you're going to eat it right away you're going to take it with you and wrap that whole top but i just want to show you how good that top looks and i'm just going to take that and fold it down and uh, the foil this really makes the sandwich um, uh, it throws that magic into it and the key thing about this sandwich is um, you take it with you for lunch dinner when you're out fishing uh, heron fishing 
And uh, when you, it's time to eat that sandwich, all those uh, ingredients are going to marry, marry, marry well. The bread's going to soften and it's just going to be perfect. Okay, that's our heron sandwich. Um, what made this sandwich magical was the bread we used and wrapped it with the foil and thyme is going to be the key ingredient. We're going to be going out fishing, we're going to be taking our sandwich with us, and when it's time to eat it, it's just going to be perfect. Thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon, night, day, evening, and remember always, fish your way, or make your sandwiches your way.